Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joffy Noodle Legs here today with uh, Sullivan. Hello everybody. Um, and we've got Lemon Lord with us who's doing the camera. I just thought I'd give you a little tour today of my collection. Um, it's been a while since I've done that and it's sort of increased a bit since the last one. Hello mate. Hello. Oh, thank you. It's giving me a little wash. So this is the first one in my collection, Sullivan. Mm. He's beautiful. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is give you a show round of all the spiders. Right then, guys. So you can see I've had a little move about in this room. And I've, I told you, you remember, that was that sofa there. So I was going to clear it out. Well, I've managed to move it out and put some of the spiders over here, as you can see. Um, and we've got a couple here. But look, I've got plenty of space and empty enclosures. So anybody, feel free to send me some spiders to fill them out. <coughs> Excuse me. So we might as well start here, actually. We have a little look here. First one here. Out on clear view, we have the OBT, Walter. A little bit of a glare there. If I turn the light off for a second, guys, it might improve the picture for you slightly. Yes, yeah, so that's Walter, the OBT. Uh, that's the one I got from uh, Russell's uh, RS Designs. Check his channel out. So we've got the OBT. In this one here, we've got... Um, Jim and Barbara. Oh yeah, he's named Walter. I won't remember all the names, guys, but I'll try my best. This is Jim and Barbara, the uh, Death Alien Beatles. They're going to be hiding somewhere, as always. They seem to hide a lot, these do. Uh, they come out sort of later on in the day. So uh, I think they're down here. There's one down there. That's it, hanging out down there. The other one will be... Just under there, you can just about make him out there. But I'm not going to disturb them, guys, because they're fast asleep. So they tend to come out more in the evening, uh, sort of animal. They're, they're not a, they not a nocturnal animal. They are a daytime animal, but they tend to be more lively in the evenings when it's a bit cooler, because it's quite hot at the moment. So that's them in there. Uh, the rest of that shelf is empties at the moment. So we come over here. I've got some live food here and a card. Uh, just move that out of the way. We uh, move these off. That's it. Just give me camera to them and Lord while I move these off. These are my live foods in there. So we've got crickets, red runners and locusts. And in this one here, I doubt if we'll see it today, guys. Uh, let me just move that poster. This in here is actually my forest scorpion. Uh, not out and about today, but that's her enclosure. Well, I've got the lid off. I will top her up with a bit of water, um, which is just here in the water bowl. She's going to be in one of the hides. Uh, we, she's doing all right. Uh, I do lift the, I do lift the hides up occasionally to check on her, and she uh, gives me the, the claws. <laughs> but she's doing all right, um, so she's cool. So I've just popped a bit of water in there for her. In fact, while I got that lid open. I might as well chuck a little locust in there for her. She does like the locust. There we go. There's one in there. That will have a wander around. And she will find it. So we'll put the lid on that one. Oh, here we go. And I tend to just put the live food on top. Because there are air holes I've put around the sides. And there's nothing in the middle. So I can just put space for my live food. So there we go. Now we're going to head over to uh, the opposite side. In here is my Lazadora Parabama by a salmon pink bird eater. She, I think she's in pre Um Let me open the doors, guys. If I get the water, I'll top up her water for her. But she's actually going to be in there at the back. Um, I believe she's in pre -malt. Uh, but if I just grab the water, I'll just top the water up. Just wait for my glamorous assistant. So we just, oh, she's got two water bowls in here. One, two. One at a lower level and one a little bit higher. Just in case she fills that one up. Uh, and I'll just pop a drop of water there in the front. 
Right, it's a bit cooler today, guys, than it has been. So I think we're over the worst of the heat wave. So, um, yeah, she's in there. That's the Lazadora Parabama. Yeah, I'm not going to disturb the spiders, guys, if uh, if they're not out. Uh, I will feed a couple on the way around. Right, so now we're going to go on up to the top of the shelf here. Right at the top, I've got me, uh, um, my A Calcodes, and you can just see, just set up the top there. It loves sitting on the water bowl. Uh, it's a really good eater. Um, I think she's getting close to pre malt because this is exactly what it did last time when it malted out. It kind of like hung up there for a while and then came down and sort of malted out. Underneath that one, I have the Brachypelma Amelia, which I'm not sure we're going to be able to see. I'll try and have a look, see if we can see the baby around the side here, but very, very unlikely. She's made a burrow that sort of covers the hole um, underneath. Let me have a little look, see if I can move it around a bit for you. You can see she's burrowed all the way underneath there. So it's pretty much all hollow. I don't know how she's managed to do that, but I can just work her out. You can just see her. Uh, wrong one, Joff. That one. You might be able to just work out a leg or two right, right in the back. Just at the back there, you can just about see the orange bit of the legs. So she's down there. Not going to disturb them today, guys. I say they were fed the other day, so I don't want to disturb them today. Um, and so then there's the, uh, the little baby up there. Next to her, we've got um, Jamie Lee, the uh, Hapalupus species Columbia, or your pumpkin patch. She will be down at the side here. Again, if I can slightly move it around, we might be able to see the baby. Um, let me have a little look for you. Uh, where is she? She's normally down here, but she's not today. So I'm not sure where she's gone. Let me... Uh, have a little look if I can get uh, my lemon lord to take the camera and we'll try and see if we can see the spider so she's probably gone a bit further up there she is just in the back there right let me put that down so you can see her because the camera's not right there here we go thank you there she is she's sitting there looking at me Thinking of what you're doing. Anyway, that's the uh, Hapalupus species Columbia. Your pumpkin patch. She's a good old size, that one. I'm going to try feeding her today. Uh, not right now, but I will feed her. Just giving you guys a quick show of the spiders today, rather than feeding them. Because that will take forever. Next up, we have um, Trotter. Who's our Vicularia, Vicularia. As you know, it's going to be hidden right at the back here. Um, it's not long malted out. You can see the darkness in there. You can just about make her out. She's just down there at the moment. She'll be fed today as well. Um, next shelf down, we've got my GBB. Um, Jaws, she'll be in here. I might attempt feeding her now, actually, while we're here. So... Well, just get me grab something for her to eat. She likes anything. Um, crickets, mealworms, red runners, crick, uh, locusts. You name it, she likes it. So I've just chucked her little locust in there for her. Who's uh, decided to sort of hang upside down. Let me just find me tweezers, guys. You know what I'm like. I can never put my hands on anything. So uh, we're just going to see if I can move the, uh, oh, she is moving itself now, turning itself around. She will feel the movement. And if she's hungry, she will pop out. We'll, we'll, we'll hang on here just for, just for a minute or so, just to see if she's going to come out. She's actually webbed up the whole back of that enclosure. It's like a massive sort of webbing. So, uh. We'll just give her a few seconds because she'll feel all that happening on her web. 
and I can just see some legs appearing at the back there so if you're thinking about it top up our water at the same time guys so we just give her a few seconds she will be feeling all that pop that here she comes she's thinking what is this going on down here is it something for my mouth come on baby where the cricket is it's quite far down so we it, she might come quite a way out if i can just get the uh, thing to move a bit more here she comes locust is just standing still because the locust would have seen her now because they've got much better eyesight than the spiders but the locust won't be able to stay like that forever she will move and she will come around and get that so what we'll do we'll allow her to have her dinner in peace she will catch that because we don't want to stay here we've done plenty of feeding videos haven't we so what i'm going to do is just shut this up for her so she's got a bit of peace and quiet and she'll grab that in her own good time. Here she comes. There we go. There we are, a little feeding for you there. So there you go, that's her. Next to her, we've got Toya, who's our Grammar Stola Polka Piece. Again, this is another sort of sub adult um, spider. Beautiful, beautiful animal. You can get a nice little close up of her there. Isn't she gorgeous? absolutely stunning spider beautiful colorations so top up a water bowl over there and she's fine i'm not feeding her today uh, because she doesn't need it so i'm just going to close that and we're going to go down to the next shelf sorry baby let me open that there we go we're going to go down to the next shelf and then we've got our Brachypalma Amore. Uh, this is Lemon. You can just see her there. She's right there. That's Lemon. If we take the lid off, you can have a little look at her. Here we go. You can get a good close-up look. Beautiful spider, that one. She's stunning. Let's give her some water. And while I've got that lid off, should we try and give her a little bit of grub? Yeah, we'll give her a locust today. I give when I buy locusts, I try to use them as quick as I can, uh, just because simply they don't live that long, to be honest. Whereas crickets and well, red runners last forever, but these guys don't tend to to last very long so we're going to drop that in there yeah, when that when that locust moves she will uh she will find it <laughs> no escape there for that little thing and there you go so that's another little takedown so that's our brachypalmo homore right in the next one we we'll have we have herbert who's our uh curly hair and you will not see him at all he is right at the back right at the back there there's the hole for the entrance of the hide that was a beautiful enclosure but it decided to trash it all up and i think it's in pre-malt we've not seen it for about four or five weeks so that's fine so we're going to go down to the next row now right so in this one uh is my hobner radita which is a wolf spider so I thought what we'd do today, if we get this off the shelf, we will try and have a little look and see if we can see the baby. Uh, let me lift up the lid and let's have a little look around there. I'll top up the water while we're in there. It's an absolute webbing machine, this one. 
uh, you've been webbing all over the place um, which I never really thought these being really big webbers but she's actually quite a big webber she's even started to web up the side here um, so I'm going to drop in a little cricket for her or he don't know the sex so cricket's in there cricket's laying upside down at the moment these the difference between these and the tarantulas these got excellent eyesight uh, they rely on their eyes more than the spider than the uh, spider more than the tarantula does again um, they are extremely well camouflaged so getting to see them is going to be very difficult Um, sorry about the noise there guys, just the dogs outside. So uh just gonna pop the lid down and we'll leave that baby to it. In these two little tubs here, the two little red ones, we have uh two huntsman spiders. Uh they are the H. David Bowies. Um again, very, very unlikely to see them because they're so tiny at the moment and they tend to sit on the lid. This one is the only one, if we're going to see one, it will be this one. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other one, but again, I think it's on the lid. So I'm just having a little look, see if I can see the spider in there. Yeah, it's going to be sitting right on top of the lid. Yeah, it's up on the lid. You can just make it out. Yeah, it likes sitting there. So when I feed them, what I tend to do, I give them a little knock and tap on the lid. It tends to move and they go down. Uh, then I can drop food in. I'll be feeding those a bit later on today. Uh, next to that one, in here we have the Talus Whip Scorpion, which you can see sitting on the bark there. I'll feed this one again today as well. That's the Talus Whip Scorpion. Name is... Uh, Hufflepuff, and here we have Joy, who is our P. Regardless. Uh, let me find the baby first so you can see it sitting on the back of the bark at the top. It's so hard to see them because they're the same coloration as the bark, really. But that's the P. Regardless, that's going to be fed today. The one at the back is empty because that's waiting for a new arrival, hopefully, coming this week. So now we're going to move over to the next shelf. Right, so now we come to the last rack in my collection, so we've got about nine more tarantulas to have a look at. In this one here is my uh, Aeginiculata, the uh, Brazilian white knee. Uh, I don't think she's out today. I think she's sitting in a Jason mask. But what we'll do, we'll pop some water in with the baby. You know what I'm like, guys. I like to give all my babies the best care I possibly can. Uh, as you know with these species, I've told you before, please make one part of the enclosure damp because uh, they like that humidity. Um, they In the wild, they, they're found around near riverbanks. Um, so giving them that moisture area gives them that sort of opportunity to have that sort of a... Uh, I'm going to drop a little cricket in there for the baby while we're here. It's actually two went in there then. <laughs> oh well. It'll find them. Yeah, it's gonna be I, I I've got an idea that this one is getting close again to pre molt because um she's spending more and more time in there. Uh she's out quite a lot, but she's in there quite a bit, so I think she's close to pre molt. So we'll pop that back and we move on to the next one. And that one is just coming out. If you look very, very carefully, you can see it moving out. That there is my Grandma Stola Polkra, Raven. And she's popping out to have a little look around, see what's going on. That's a rare sighting. She's always in her hide. Well, she's probably jumped back in there now. Now, now oh, she's still sitting out. So let's lift her off very, very carefully. And see if we can open this very, very carefully, guys, without disturbing it. And we might be able to see her. 
at that beauty. And there she goes. I hope you enjoyed that. That's the most I've ever seen of her. So we're going to give her some water. But that's a good sign. She's opened her little hide up. So she is probably, or he, is probably molted out. So we're going to give it nice drops of water. And as she's out and about, that means she's good to go with food. Because if normally when they molt guys, they will still stay in their hide um, until they're actually ready to eat. She's looking a good size. I can see me having to rehouse this one soon. So we're going to drop a, a, a cricket in there. And that will move around on that web that's on the top. We'll, we'll just stay with this one just for a few seconds, guys. Just because, just in case she thinks, oh, there's something moving up there and comes out again. But uh, to be fair, since I've moved the spiders over here, I've seen some of the spiders I've not seen for a long time moving about. So that's really good. So maybe they're in a better area, maybe. Don't know. Right, okay, so she's not going to come out again. Well, we did see her, didn't we? So there we go. That's out my polkra. And she's been fed and watered, so she's going back on. Let me get that off. That's it. Next one, Lemon's just getting that one off for us. That's uh, Ashton, our T Reagan. Um, again, it's another one we don't really see very often uh, in in here. So I'm just going to give it a drop of water. I need to fill my water thing up. Drop of water, and we'll pop in a tiny little cricket for it while we've got it here. Just saves me going back down to the bottom shelf again when I'm feeding my spiders shortly. I will be doing that as soon as this video is over. I'll be feeding it. So I've just popped a little cricket in there. And that's it. So now we're going to go to the next shelf. Right, guys. So here we are. I've lifted these three off the shelf. Um, just doing this one here is water. This in here is the Asomani. As you may see. Sitting there in the hide, down the bottom there. So what we do, we'll quickly feed this one while we've got it here. So I'm just waiting for my cameraman to come back down here and get a good shot of the spider. While I chuck it some food in. Well, the food's in. We try and encourage it to go not down that way not down there anyway it's in there so the spider will know it's in there so we'll move on to the next one right that one can go back on the shelf that's the asamani the zebra leg and here is my little baby this is the gramostola polkrapes the little baby um She's been digging herself. She's right down there. You're not probably going to see her because of the label. Um, but she is down there. See her? There she is. She's down there. I'll give her a feed as well. Uh, next to that one is my Brachypelma Classy. Um, she's going to be in the hide. You can just see a part of her there. Sticking out with a bit of a dead worm there. She's... I think she's molting out actually so i'm gonna leave her to it looks like she's in molting at this moment she looks upside down uh, so i'll give you an update on her if she molts out we'll check on her a bit later today so the top shelf we've got three more uh this one in the large one so let me get up noise uh is our grandma stella hyingri Right, so in this one we've got um, our Grandma Stella Hyingri, Olive. Um, she's just sat out there in her usual position. This is the one we rehoused a few days ago. If you can see her, probably need to zoom in. There we go. She sat there as enjoying, enjoying life, I suppose. That's her. Two more spiders to go, guys. Right at the top here we have my uh, H. Polka Peas. The golden blue leg baboon that we saw in the feeding video. She's in there. She's going to be right down in her hide. Right at the back there. Not going to take the lid off. 
And last but not least is my Davis Pentalorus, which is in there. She's going to be at the back. So that is pretty much all my spiders. As you can see, the collection's grown to a fair size. So there we are, guys. So that's my collection now. As you can see, it's grown. And I've got space to grow even more. Um, so I hope you like the collection. Just a little shout out to a few YouTubers. Um, Russell's RS Designs, Mark the Spider Guy, Spider Mum 1978, Usual Pets, Tom's Big Spiders, Dave's Little Beasties, um, Ellie's Bug Babies, Tina Deep Blue Sea, Inverts, Incredible Inverts Other Animals, Reptile Innovations, Unseen Universe. Some great channels there, guys. Go and check them all out when you get time. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.